Yeah, I'm on the side. Oh, okay. I didn't meet your mama but till today. Yeah, she is. She's yeah. very sweet. She's very supportive. I know she's taking care of all your kids. And you too. Mm -hmm. How many siblings do you have? I have um, three living brothers. You're the youngest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, like we talked about outside with your mama, mm -hmm. there's, there's several purposes of coming in today. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, there's been stuff that's been said, um, tips that come in. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I believe or don't believe them. The only way for me to confirm or not confirm is for us to talk. Is for us to talk. Whatever you it. say, I'll write down okay. and we go from there. Okay. Um, but as in what we did the first time, and I'll, I'll tell you what all this is right here when we go through it. As I did the first time, I'm going to go through your uh, constitutional rights form. And the place is the police memorial building. It is 2021 hours. That's 821. And today is the 18th. Yeah, that's right. It's almost school time. Almost. So, you got all your school clothes for pretty much? Now, do you actually go by? I, I mean, I prefer. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to be, you know, getting divorced. I hear you. Not to offend you, but do you read okay? Mm -hmm. Write okay? Mm -hmm. 12 years of education, or did you m more? Um, did, you, did you finish high school? Yes. Okay. Again, not meaning to offend you. Have you had any drugs today? No. Okay. I, well, I took my prescription, but... Okay. What is your prescription for? It's for anxiety. Okay. Do you know what that is? Xanax. Xanax, but okay. But it's the... Um, it's not the one milligram, it's the one underneath that. Smaller than, yeah, less than? Yeah, it's a low dose. Less than one mil? Okay, mm -hmm. when did you take that? Um, about two hours ago. Okay, I'm sure that you probably had a little anxiety with all this going on. Yes. Uh, any alcohol? No. Okay, with the anxiety medicine, Xanax, are you understanding everything that we're talking about? You're not un unclear? Okay, just want to make sure. Just like last time, read this top line for me, then I'll read the rest. You have the following right under the United States Constitution. Okay. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have a lawyer with you during any questioning. Do you understand that? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. If you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with a lawyer. Do you understand that? Yes. I'm going to sign it as a witness. My partner's going to sign it as well. That just means that you acknowledge that what we've talked about, you understand. Okay, you didn't win any free steak knives or anything like that. You want me to put Barton on here? Uh, whatever you want. That's fine. Whatever you're, whatever right. you're I'll comfortable. Just the Barton. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, first thing I want to show you, and I don't think I'll even have to go through this, but just to make you understand, what do you recognize that the, that pink highlight is? Cell phone number. Right. Whose is that? Um, it's mine. Right. This is the date, 7 25 15. Mm -hmm. That's the very first day that he went over there to jail. Okay. okay. Um, then obviously that's all the same day. So, mm -hmm. in case you didn't believe that he has not got the loyalty to you that you think he does, mm -hmm. in case sometimes I know it's easier to prove something to somebody if they see it or hear it yeah. than it is to just tell them. Okay. Yeah. So, you see what this highlight is? Mm -hmm. Do you recognize that number? Not right off. Okay, that's number. Okay. So these are all of his calls to her. Okay. okay. Different days, 8 2. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. Yeah, no. 8 3, 8 3, 8 3, 8 4. I'm looking at it upside down, so if I say something wrong, just correct me. 8 4. Okay. okay. Here again, 8 6, mm -hmm. 8 8. You can see. He's been trying to call her from jail. Right. Well, yes, and there's been conversations as well. Okay. okay. Here's you. Here's your number again. That's when it was blocked. That was the day after you visited him on 810. Okay. That's when it was blocked. Okay, so obviously he couldn't, he tried to call you, but he couldn't. What I'm trying to show you the comparison is who you think he's clearly reaching out to. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to, I'm not trying to throw that in your face. No. Okay. I want you to have a feeling that, you know, it's pretty clear we listen and do everything we have to do. 
mm -hmm. to prove this case. Okay. And if part of it is getting you to understand we are not the ones trying to BS you, then I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make you buy that. Yes, okay? All right, so how about this? Do you, is that, you talked about when you left for work, there was a green shirt, I believe, and you call him Baby Man? Yeah. Okay. And for the purposes of this, is it okay if we call him Baby Man? Is That's that going to upset you? Yeah. Okay. So, you talked about a green shirt. That looks teal to me, but I pulled out everything well, well, that I has, could. He has a green shirt. Okay. It has no sleeves on it. Okay. And it has a truck on it also. Okay. So, this is not the one he was in the night before you left. Mm -hmm. And to clarify, when you left for work, he had a, this green, some sort of green shirt on, but it's not this one. Okay. Not a tank top, but just a sleeveless shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's definitely not it. Um, now, that kind of looks, it's a Ninja Turtle. That's his shirt. Okay, I know it's his shirt. Is it the one that he was in when you left that night, to your no, knowledge? this was a neon green shirt. Neon green, okay. Yeah, like a, a, a brighter. bright green. Okay. Like a highlighter. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah. All right, well then clearly not this one. But that, that's do, not do you reckon, not his? Okay, let me write that on there. Do you, do you recognize that shirt? Is that maybe somebody else's kids? Um, maybe uh, it could be one of the kids. Uh, they have um, a P6, okay. a six year old. So maybe Trey's. Not. No. Okay. How about this one? That's not his either. Okay. And how that about this one? That is. That is. This is. My mom bought him this shirt. Sure. But that's not the sleeveless one he was in. Mm -hmm. Okay. The stains on that, are those stains that have been there? Yeah, okay. spaghettios. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of what it looked like. Is yeah, raviolis or spaghettios? Yeah, is that ripped? Is it torn? Um, I think it it's just folded? the way that it's. I think it's just the way that it's folded. Okay, to be honest, it, I was going to say because it wasn't ripped or anything. Um, I think that's just the way that it's folded. To be okay, honest, but okay. it, if it is, that had nothing to do with this. Now we may go through these a little slower. Um, what do you recognize this as? That's Rubens. Okay. Do you recognize it from that night? Or any other um, time? Think about when you're there, you show yeah, up. I'm trying to think. Uh, Do you remember what he had on? When, when when I got there? Yeah, when you got to the apartment complex. I know he had a white shirt on and um, khaki shorts. Okay. Does this I look do, like the shirt? This looks like... Could have been. I think so, maybe. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, they've turned this inside out for him. <laughs> okay. Now, how about this? That's you know, I, his. I know it's like a generic, this you know, serious. right. You see what it's on? You see what this is? It's like laid on a brown piece of paper mm -hmm. and it's got a measuring stick mm -hmm. opposite of what you see these, okay? That's just laid on a little brown piece of paper so they can put his clothes out. Mm -hmm. They're measuring this up. They're measuring it up for a reason. Okay. Is there anything that you notice about that shirt? Look, look at it. Maybe down in here, mm -hmm. through here. Right. Stains. Take a look at that. Looks like blood to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Do you remember him being hurt in any way? Was he bleeding in any way? Not when I left him. Okay. Not when I got out of the car to go to work, he wasn't. Okay. And while we're talking about the blood right now, was there I can see your I, I can see where you're upset. Do you want to take a break a second? Okay, let me turn that over. All right, listen to me. Was there any, ever any time that had a significant injury where he was bleeding a lot? No, he had a little scratch on his leg. Okay. But that was from where he, um, he just had like a little, like a bug bite it looked like, I guess, and he scratched it. Okay. So, so he did that to himself. Was he right? bleeding at all that day? Mm -hmm. And any of the little bite that you talked about down there, it's nothing more than a Band-Aid would have needed, even if that. Okay, so at any given time, was he bleeding a large amount? Not whatsoever. Okay. In the last week, can you remember any time where he would have taken a fall where he was busted open and mouth bleeding? He didn't. He had a little mark right here um, on his on the bottom lip, but he was. Um, we were in the kitchen. I was with him when that happened. Okay, so you was, saw it. Well, I gave him a popsicle because okay. was, he was teething real bad, and he bit his lip a little bit. So. Okay. But other than that, no, and it wasn't even. He barely, he didn't even bleed really. Right did any his lip? Did any of that blood get anywhere else other than the kitchen? No, it didn't even get in the kitchen. I okay, wiped used it up. A little napkin. Okay, it was nothing. All right. 
this is um, I want to show you that the, and I'm looking at it upside down so you'll have to excuse me if I go backwards this this purple line mm -hmm. is basically a route, route that he took or something right I know there was some talk about whether or not you believe the validity of that video that we put out well I didn't say I didn't believe it I just said that it was so blurry right. really that I couldn't you know what I mean I couldn't tell they asked me is that Ruben and I told him why it's kind of blurry right and I was just being honest okay and let me this is part of the clarification for you okay mm -hmm. what I'm not allowed to do is make stuff up for you or him mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to make up evidence I'm not allowed to tell you we found a bloody hammer and it belonged to the victim's blood is, is I'm not allowed to make stuff like that up okay so understand me when I'm telling you something this is something we know we will prove in a court of law okay mm -hmm. alright so our video time of him leaving mm -hmm. is when you look at the video he goes out watch him go out and within enough minutes he is this house right here there's a little pin right there mm -hmm. it says um, Sierra Madre right Sierra yeah. Madre drive south okay the little pin if you come out and come around here you're gonna pass this house mm -hmm. and when you pass this house you come up here to this Cesperdes Road mm -hmm. and then the car was dropped off right there okay so this house video at the same time within a couple minutes three to be exact from the time he comes out of here sees the car now no other cars are going by right sees that car go by then three minutes later he comes running by enough time for him to get around here guess what he comes walking back in the complex that and he's on video there too right, right walking back in and he rec he, s he recognizes himself and it's worse quality than the other video he actually says yeah, he yeah said, i believe yeah, that's, that's me. me okay yeah so um what we're trying to tell you is do you that fault obviously yeah mm -hmm. what what clearly we'd have to start with is i need you to understand the story of the car being stolen with the child in it is total horseshit Okay. Do you understand that? I, I do. I understand that. All right. So with so where was my baby when he he wasn't it, to our to the best of what we can say he only brought this car over here. It was an alibi. He was trying he was, to. He was never in it to begin with. No, he was trying to stage an alibi and make it look like a fake abduction, and that someone else had taken. Okay. Okay. That's why he was in such a hurry to get back. We timed it from start to finish. Mm. <laughs> he actually ran it. <laughs> I'm a lot older than him. <laughs> right. I drove that distance and ran it back, and I did it in faster time than he did. Okay. Yeah. And I'm 59. So he probably stopped a couple times. <laughs> all that weed. Yeah. <laughs> but the the time frame is right. Okay. Well, right. Yeah. yeah. There is no. Yeah, I have no reason to lie to. I don't. Well, and of stuff like this, why? Why would exactly. I? Exactly. So if we, if we. Do you remember the clothes he was wearing? Um. She really? said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The that khaki, night when you got home. Khaki shorts and a white shirt. Do you remember the, the shoes he had on? The DCs. Mm-hmm. Same thing in the video. Okay. Yeah. Can't mistake him. Okay. The white DC label as he runs by. Now he was real cocky in, in jail when he was approached about this because he had only seen that first video from the apartment and it was a terrible video but he recognized himself okay. he didn't see this one when he was running his mouth after he ran his mouth then I think his family got his attention and they got you one video. Okay. yeah so understanding this it, it leads us to the fact that number one clearly that car was not stolen yeah, and, he put it and he put it there now if there was putting this out to you if there was some bad accident that happened whether it was intentional or not would you as a mother get care for your child immediately absolutely immediately there's no one else that had care of this child okay um, when you got out the car that day at work, was it a car? 
Yes, he was. I gave him the other kiss. Was he hurt in any way? No, he was drinking his bottle and had some red fruit punch in it that I'd made him right before we left. Okay. And, I'm, and I hate to bring you back to that particular time and all, but I know you went to work and you came back. When the kids go to sleep at night, when you have both of them, or yeah. one, specifically specifically baby man, where do you put them down to bed? I normally let them fall asleep in the bed with me. Okay. And then once they fall asleep, I'll make them a pallet at the okay. foot of the bed. Okay. And he didn't really like the pallet, so he liked he took to the black bean bag yeah. that's yeah, in the yeah. apartment. Right. So I put him a little pillow at the top of it, and he'd sleep with his Toy Story blanket on top of it. The okay. black one? Mm-hmm. Do you ever put him downstairs to sleep? No, never. Never? Never. Never once made a pallet downstairs for him? Yeah, to watch TV like okay. during the day while I'm up. up okay. okay, if we and go listen, to bed. Listen, there's no big deal. Well, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm saying, trying to make you I'm just saying, but not at night. I would no, we're just you know. saying that sometimes as he lay down like, there. I don't sleep upstairs and then him and my kids sleep downstairs. Uh, no, 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 that's no. not what I was implying. No, no we're just wondering yeah. if you ever make a pallet downstairs for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, likes to make the pallets and they watch the TV downstairs sometimes. How often do they watch TV downstairs? Um, we had actually just started um, letting them do that like mm, a week before all this happened. Was okay. they hurt anyway? Mm -hmm. No pipes? No, no. Okay. Not nothing. How about um, the day that you made the shrimp Alfredo and then you went on to work? Was there a pallet downstairs? Mm hmm. Okay. There had been. Describe it to me. Um, panda pillows. Okay. Um, I believe a uh, uh, different colored blanket. You know, yeah, you know a, a multi about. a multi color blanket. Yeah, I mean like like pastel pastel colors like browns. Okay. Tans. So not white. Okay. So in front of the big screen TV, there was not pillows and a white sheet before you left. See what this looks like. Tell me what you tell me what that looks like to you. Well, for one, that wasn't even there when I left. That was on top of the the um, containers that are sitting beside this couch right here. That sits right here. Mm -hmm. That stroller always stays on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, that's Ruben's shirt. Okay. But it wasn't laid like that. Okay. It was spread out. Um. How about Those are, these are the pillows. Okay, what's this right here? That's a white sheet. Right. So my question to you is, when you left home... It wasn't in the floor. It wasn't in the floor. You positive? 100% sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm going to let you look at it just a little bit closer. Just to make sure that you see it well enough. It's a... It's a there is no describing it is a white sheet. Yeah, I didn't put it there though. Okay. That's not the palette that I made for. Okay. What does that look like? What? This is this. Okay. This is this. Blown up. Okay. This is dried a few days later, so it's a little bit lighter. So this is after that bag? This, okay, this, this, this right here is how we found your house. Mm -hmm. When we examined this sheet, mm -hmm. it's very easy to see. It looks like this. Yeah. It's still wet. Right. That's still wet. Okay. The sheet goes to our property room, and it's put in a place safely, securely, where it can dry. So as it dried, it dries a little bit lighter. You see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so this was at your house. Mm -hmm. These these little little things here, that's what's called a hemodent test. They swab it the to determine weather. if it's based on the test. It's not the God's awful gospel. We send those swabs to the lab and we have to, we just can't guess whose blood it is. This okay. is simply to tell us whether or not it's We believe it is, blood. right. But this is, they come back as food. Yeah. Okay, I know, I got you. There is upstairs. 
okay? And do you, do you want to break this up? If you want one, you tell me, okay? You want a break? I just want to get done. Okay, all right, we'll get done. Tell me what you see about this. Whose room? Where That's y'all's room, room. okay. Does this look like what it normally looks like? Weights um, on the ground, there's a little stool it looks like. Yeah, I sat right there sometimes. Okay. How about this stool? Is that something um, you recognize? Yeah, yeah, he was he said he was gonna put it back in the shed because it was taking up too much room. Okay. Now I know this is a picture of this direction. The foot of the bed would be down, down here. here yeah. Right. Um can you put in the pillows that I use to make the pallet? Okay. Where do you normally put the baby? Is it down here at the foot or over here? Well, he normally sleeps on this side and he sleeps right here. Okay. But at the foot of the bed, on the right by the flooring area. Mm -hmm. Do you ever set up a pallet over here? Never. Never set up a pallet over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is getting a little tighter. This is a little bit more zoomed in. Okay. I want you to pay attention to the floor area. You notice anything? Stays. Right. Here's a blow up. <laughs> this is what we took this carpet. Okay. Okay. You know, sometimes I'm usually telling people, guess what? It's not like TV. It doesn't work like TV. This is going to work like TV. <laughs> Do you see what that looks like? <laughs> yeah. That's the stool. You see what this is. Okay, I'm not going to make you stare at it, all right? We've sent a number of things to the lab. We don't just guess. We physically know. What did he do to him? Let's go back to the, the bruise on his head a minute. And if you have ever thought in your mind Today is the day to say whatever you possibly can remember. If anything was different, holy God, today's the day, okay? I'm not... I, wanna, I mean, I know that he, um, he was very aggravated with the fact that she wouldn't let him see his kids. Okay. She and, being... Mm -hmm. Okay. And he had made a um, couple comments, you know, that... Uh, he was holding, I remember him holding in the uh, kitchen and he was crying. Yeah. Um, Ruben was crying and I went to uh, take the baby from him to go upstairs with him and give him Ruben a minute, you know, and yeah. he's like, no, you know, it's kind of, he, he helps me feel right. closer to mine. He literally just let me hold him. So I let him hold him and then um, later on he just, um, I don't know, he kind of made me, he kind of made me mad at first because he was like, uh, he was like, you know, um, I don't mind, you know, watching your kids. They, you know, they take my, they take my mind off of my own. <laughs> and, um, but I kind of got like that, that sense, like maybe, well, I'm watching your kids, but I should be watching mine. You know what I mean? Right. So I was like, well, you know, if it's too much, you know, I'll just, you know, till this stuff gets settled between you and her, I, I can stay at my mom. And he was like, no, 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 you took that wrong. You know, he was like, they just, I just miss my kids. Right. You know, so. Now that you understand what we're dealing with, there's some questions I'm going to ask you. I'll ask you just to be honest, okay? Yeah. Did you strike in any way to cause him to bleed? No. Ever, ever. No. Not one day in his life. No. Okay. The, the drugs that you had talked about, Reuben, kept in the dresser upstairs. To your knowledge, did have any way of knowing that those drugs were in there? Was Not left to my knowledge, no. Was no. commonly left unsupervised in that room to where he could have gotten into that drawer? I never left him in the room. I mean, even if I exited the room, with my knowledge of that being there, I even would make him and come with me. Okay. Just because kids are kids. Right, mm -hmm. right. Did you do anything to allow the baby man to get into these drugs and become overdosed. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you aware of him getting into the drugs the day of this incident, the, the Thursday? Didn't come out chewing on pills or spilled pills on the floor? No. Okay. And so 
by looking at what type of injury that we obviously are looking at, are you telling me that you had nothing to do with this? Yes, that was exactly what I'm telling you. Okay, and who else, who else in the world had care and control of that boy that Thursday or Friday? Reuben. That's it. Okay. So let's go back to the, the bruise on the back of his head. In our last um, discussion, we determined that you were brought, the, the bruise was brought to your attention by Brittany. Mm -hmm. And that was that Thursday that you went to the dollar store and got the shrimp Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Describe the size of that bruise to me. 50 cent piece, quarter, draw a circle. Draw a circle for me. Just think of how big it was. Mm -hmm. This is the back of my ear. And you're pointing at it. Point to me where, I, where yeah, it was. Yeah, I'll probably show you okay. that. Yeah. I'm playing like right, right in, in here. here. Okay. So right in there and then draw the size you think that bruise was. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, that's just like from long life. Okay. Um, probably about like that. Okay. Now, you talked about it being bright in color. Like bright purple, bright um, blue. Like a, I like a purplish. Okay. So a purplish. Um, you also mentioned something on the side of his face. Well, he had um, been pulling at his ear. Okay. And on that side, okay, and um, it just looked like it was a little bit red, like maybe just right, right through, here, just right through in on there. his cheekbone. Not, well, a little bit under it, under it, okay, yeah, a little bit under his cheekbone. Which side? Uh, the same side that um, it was on. The Which side. is left side? Which that's what he's on asking. Left. left side. On his left side. Left side. Okay. And I figured that it was like an ear infection, you know, because right. they cause they can cause your ear. How long, right how long did you notice that bruise? Um, I had just just really noticed it. I didn't wake up. I didn't get up until like 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That afternoon? Mm -hmm. I got up for about, mm, about an hour or so around lunchtime or whatever when Brittany took me to the doctor. Or to the dollar to store. To the dollar store. Right. I, really, I didn't notice it. I didn't pay any attention. I, I noticed that it's, his, it looked a little bit reddish through here. You sleep real hard? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. You sleep with the door shut? Mm-hmm. Okay. All I the did. kids downstairs during that time? Uh, Ruben normally doesn't wake me up. He normally takes the kids if he leaves. He takes them with him, or he takes them downstairs and you know plays with them, whatever. So I'm normally up there by myself asleep. Alright. Um. You recall anything waking you up that day? Um, crying. Well, I mean, sometimes it's normal to hear kids crying. Um, no, not crying. Um. Five o'clock. I actually got woke up around five o'clock by a knock on the door, and he was getting served some kind of papers to do with. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I so that. that's how I got woke up. But um, no, I mean nothing. My kids weren't like acting out of the normal. Really, I mean, he he looked like he didn't really feel all that well. But yeah. like I said, you know, I figured he was going to the doctor the next day with me. Right. And um, I just figured I was going to have him check it for you know, maybe an ear infection. I see his teeth. And when you say he didn't feel that well, can you elaborate? Um, you know, just kind of like a little more tired than you, a little bit lazier, um, a little bit irritable, you know, whiny a little bit, um, a little more clingy, I guess you would say. Okay. But I just figured it was because he didn't feel good. Maybe cutting his teeth. Did he have a fever? No, he didn't have fever. I think you said oh, it was like 99. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not oh, what yeah. the doctor would say is a high-grade fever. Mm -hmm. so you gave him the... I gave him a little bit for of... For the ear or just pain reliever for the fever, all the above? Yeah. And well, I mean, I figured that that would take care of, you know, the slight fever. I didn't want it to go up any more than that. Why would you say it was his ear? Well, because he was tugging out his ear. He didn't come out? <clears throat> you talked about some yellowish... No, well, it's wax. That's ear wax. That's why I was taking him to the doctor the next Was day. it fluid or wax? Uh, it was kind of, li kind of liquidy, but... Because I've never had wax, to be honest with you, I've never had wax come out my ear. I've done a Q-tip and got the, the right. wax out. Right. But wax doesn't usually drain out unless you have a serious oh, well, problem. Well, I mean, no, I wasn't like draining. Uh, and I'm, I said that wrong. Even if it's leaking out, there's generally something... Yeah, well, I could see a little bit of, you know, I could see like a little bit of like a yellowish color stuff right there. I figured that, you know, I just take him... I thought he had an ear infection. I yeah. just take him to the 
doctor with the next day and they could tell me what it was. Okay. Those are just so, you know, we talked about this before, but that's when you get a baby with a head head injury. Mm-hmm. And we're not saying that, you know, his head was split open, but when you have a bruise back here or anywhere on their head, like when your mama saw the stuff he had on his face when, um, when we believe there was something about pushing him down the stairs, your mom said we had to get him to the doctor. Yeah. Like, was, yeah, like with, him. like with, um, um, today, you know, she took her to the doctor to see the scrape on her back. Yeah, I went with her. Right, so it's, and that's just on her back. When you mm-hmm. have something in their head, you gotta, you can't wait till tomorrow. That, that stuff's gotta come pretty quick. Um, and that's, you know, talking about that with, with Reuben, uh, go through that again. Brittany sees the bruise and you say something to Reuben about it. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you said. I just told him, you know, I said, how'd that get there? Right. And then what did he say? He said, uh, he said, I don't know, I told you, uh, this is what I was telling you about earlier. And I was like... Didn't tell me? Yeah. Okay. And you guys, my understanding is it was, I don't know if I want to call it argument or words, discussion that was heated? Wait, yeah. What would you call it? Um, right on the verge of an argument. Okay. What, what time was that? Um... Mm. How far before you went to work? An Maybe hour? An hour or so, an hour or two. You got up, what she said, 5 o'clock. Mm, what I time did you have to be at work? Um, I didn't get there until about 8.30. Okay. So somewhere between, say, 6 and 7? Right before I went to the dollar store. Yeah, because that's, think about this a second, because that's earlier in the day. For Brittany to show now you. I went to the dollar store twice. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Because once mm-hmm. you went with her and then once you went just by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. When... And you correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding was Brittany is there at the house with the two of you, you and Reuben and the kids. Mm-hmm. She sees the bruise. She calls it to your attention. You go to Reuben, what the hell? And that's when he tells you, hey, by the way, I already tried to tell you about that. Mm-hmm. Is that about right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's word for word, but yeah, the scenario some, is somewhat, the same. Yeah. Because my understanding and by her her records, Brittany's gone by 1.30 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So. Could it have been earlier in the day? That what? That you saw the bruise and you had the words with Reuben. It could have been. Okay. Very well. And I'm happen. not trying to nail you to the cross on whether it was yeah, seven no, o'clock I, yeah, or no. And my, like I said, my times, you know what I mean, could be off. off a little bit. I gotcha. And that's why we go with what records say. Mm-hmm. Brittany wasn't there five, six, seven o'clock that night, to no. my knowledge. No. So that's why I mean, she. This conversation had to have happened between you and Reuben about, we'll call it the verge of an argument, while she was there. Because she yeah. thought she witnessed it as well. Yeah. So, because she actually said you pretty much called him out. Yeah. So that was definitely while she was there. So now let's... Um, and, and granted, I woke up to her being there. Right. I didn't even know she was there. Right. So. Did you ever figure out why she was there? She said, she told me she was just getting out of the house. What she told me. Did Reuben say anything to you about why she was there or something about a car? Yeah, I mean, he said that she was, um, something was wrong with the lights or something like that, and, um, it was, she was trying to sell it. Okay. And we were trying to, I guess, he was interested in buying it because it was bigger than that car. Okay. All right. Um, later that, when this all goes down, we tried to figure out exactly how you figured out and when, and so let's just, I'm gonna let you go through it. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just gonna listen so to make sure I got it right. You're at work, and I'm gonna take you to the spot, and then you finish it off for me. Fair enough? You're at work, you ask him, are you on the way? Obviously, you're already off. You ask him, you're on the way, and he responds, I'm on the way, did you get the money? Mm-hmm. What money was he talking about? Um, from my understanding, it was money that Brittany owed him for babysitting the previous weekend. Okay. So take me from there. Um, what happens when you, you respond, yeah, I got it. What happens then? Um, he uh, tells me I need to get a ride. Okay. Texts me and tells me I need to get a ride. Was that odd to you? Um, a little bit. It was a little bit odd because I was like, well, he just said he was on his way. Yeah. So, you know, so I call him because I had done told Brittany, well, he said, you know, he's on his way. You can go ahead and go. And um, I uh, I called him. I'm like, you said, you know, I was like, get a ride. 
said, you know, you said, would you gonna have to give me Brittany's number now? She's already gone. Yeah. And um, he told me, he told me he was looking up the number for me, and he got me the number, and um, I called Brittany. Brittany said she was somewhere off of Atlantic, and uh, but she would come back if needed. Okay. And I said, well, hold on, there's still a girl in the parking lot. You know, let me see if she just give me a ride. And the other girl said she would, so. I told Brittany, never mind. Okay. Who was the girl that gave you the ride? Christina. She was somebody that was a, a worker? Dancer, a worker? Yeah. Okay. So you load up in her car, mm -hmm. and where do you go from there? We went to Pinebrook. Okay. Apartments. You, what did you have to do at Pinebrook? I went and picked up 20 bucks that Jessica Rodriguez owed me. Okay. And not to be in your business, but what did she owe you the money for? I loaned her and her sister 20 bucks at the bar. You have to have an open drink. Drink, yeah. To okay. stay. Right. Okay. Was there some talk about her giving you something other than money? Yeah, well, yeah, she offered me um, a dub of cocaine, and I told her I didn't need it. I need the money. She was basically trying to get her money back. Right. I <laughs> see. She was yeah. trying to keep from having to give me that 20 bucks back. Okay. At this point, in your mind, is anything wrong? Mm hmm No, I mean, I kind of... Just kind of wondering what, you know, why we would cut and come get me, but I figured that if it was an emergency or something that... He How often did he not show up? Never. He was always there. Unless I drove the car myself. Right. Let me backtrack for just a second. The policy there, if you come to work and leave for an emergency for whatever reason, how do you leave? Can you just walk out the door? How do I leave? I have to ask my manager if I can leave. Okay. And, and if they, they okay, if and they I give have you to permission. pay them fifty dollars to leave. <laughs> exactly. And fifty dollars. If you yeah. pay, if you pay if that. If I 50, leave early, I yeah. If you pay that fifty dollars, are you allowed to come back that night? Um, I guess. Have you ever done it? Mm -mm. Did you leave that night for any reason? I did not. You stayed there the whole time. Yes, I did. Inside the club. Yes, I did. Okay. No, oh, that's okay. I, I appreciate the feedback. Um, so you go to Pinebrook, you're getting your twenty dollars, and something happens with the police. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. Um, they're like, uh, where we're parked at. Were you in a parking spot, or you just kind of pulled up? She just kind of pulled up. Yeah, that was the first clue. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of pulled up. Well, I guess. Um, like after I heard heard that what was going on, I could see why he was looking. He was looking for Ruben's car. Sure, yeah. is what he was as doing. As he was supposed know, to. Yeah, but I didn't know that at that time. Right. So there we are asking him, "Is there a problem?" Because we couldn't back. You know, there's yeah, right. Where am I gonna go? Blocked <laughs> in, and um, heard him saying that wrong wrong car, and um, she uh said he he had said he had mentioned uh had had we seen. An orange, uh, an orange car. It was been stolen. Okay. And um, I was like, no, I haven't seen it, because I didn't see it go by or nothing like that. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, Ruben's got an orange car. What's going on? And it just all f felt kind of fucked up to me, basically. I was like, hmm. And then they fucked they, up in what respect? Response that the officer was asking you, or are you thinking what the what the fuck is going on? Right. Yeah, I'm thinking, hmm. What all did he, he ask you? He asked me, did I um. Did I have a, a baby? Mm -hmm. And told him, uh, or did I know anyone? Is what he's first asked. And me. you said? And I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. I told him that I, I did. I live there. I live there. That's what, what you told him? Me and Christina. And uh, she said, that's where you live, right? And I said, yeah, that's where I live. What's going on? And then they uh, said, um, I did deny the fact that Ruben, to that what was going uh, that I, the car and all that was his at first, whatever, because I wanted to get to him first. And find out what the fuck was going on. The cop was following me there anyway, so. Right. Anyway, but I didn't deny it after he mentioned a baby being in it. Okay. And once he mentioned my baby, I said, I have a two-year-old. I have a two-year-old white male. And uh, and then he said, well, that baby is supposedly in this vehicle missing. That had been stolen. I said, well, that's, you know, that's probably my baby. And, he and said, where were and you in this conversation? In Pinewood or in, pa in Pinebrook? And he said, uh, he said, you're going right there. You're going straight there right now. And I said, yeah. And he said, okay, well, I'll follow y'all. And we went straight there. Okay. What happens when you get there? Um, an officer. Um, I walked straight up to Ruben to start with, and asked him what the hell was going on. 
Mm-hmm. And he tells me that, you know, he went, he ran inside to, this is what he told me outside, that he ran upstairs to, um, to lock the doors back. He forgot to, to lock the house up. And that, Has he uh, ever forgot to lock the house up before? Um, so not for the most part. How about his bedroom where his drugs are kept? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Most of the time he, he locks that. Right. And if we leave, he locks the room. He said he forgot to lock it up. He went back upstairs to lock the room back up. Okay. And, um, when he, he said when him had walked back down, he could see the car driving out the driveway. He told me that he had ch- you know, tried to catch it, see who was in it, whatever, but it, he couldn't. Right. So then he began to come back to the apartment to call 911. Yeah. Okay. And at some point you helped him with a blanket to get, to find a belt blanket so that the dog could sniff yeah, the I was blanket? Yeah, I was looking for the baby's Toy Story blanket. And because that's the one he sleeps with, and um, he said that it was in the car. He said he said it's in the car. I you know I took it with me to come and get y'all. Okay. So to come and get me. He said that he took it with him. So he told the, the the cop, well that blanket's in the car. Right. What else did he say to you? He uh, told me that um he had actually went up there to get something to to serve to someone. Someone had made a phone call because uh, I asked him, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Yeah, I said, what, what the fuck happened? Who would steal your car? And he told me, he said, well, I don't know who would steal my car. And um, he said, I, I said, what the hell did you got? You know, what are, what are you doing? What what happened? I was just freaking out. And he told me that he had actually come back up there to um, get some uh, some coke to come to serve somebody on their way, on his way to pick me up from work, is what he told me. So that's the basically the second story he told you out there. First it was I needed to lock the doors, mm-hmm. and then it was, okay, I went upstairs to get something to serve Lapita. Mm-hmm. Right? Is that her name? Mm-hmm. Okay. So is that not hitting you wrong at that point? You know, thinking something, why is he telling honestly, me two different things? Well, I honestly figured that he told me outside that he just went to lock the room up because he didn't want the cops to know that he was getting drugs. Okay. So, I mean, I figured that's why he told me that outside. and. Was he more in, there. was he more in private when you were when he was telling you that I was trying to get something for Lupita? Lupita? Yeah, we were at the top at the top of the um like right there at the door entrance. Okay. Of the bedroom. So. When did it change next? It, it didn't. That's what he told me, and he stuck. He still hasn't told me anything different. He tells me that the car was stolen with the baby in it. That he didn't do anything to hurt him. He didn't do anything to him. Do you believe that now? No, I don't believe him. No. Yeah, I promise you, this is not a sick joke to twist you. No, I know, I know it's not. This is fucking reality. He hurt my baby. He done something to my baby. Obviously. Remember when uh, that night when he said he was going to take us? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you remember what you told him? What? Yeah, bring take them wherever. Do the right thing. Take them to my child. Yeah, if he knows where he is, take him to Yeah, go As a matter of fact, you said, where in the fuck is my child, Reuben? Yeah. Because your inclination right then was telling you, you you put it to him in every way that you could. We'll get through this. I know you know. Right. Do you remember asking him, where's my child? Mm -hmm. I've asked him that several times. And what did he say? I don't know. That's what he keeps telling me. I can tell you I love you too much to tell you. No. He didn't tell me that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Because I'm telling him, if you love me, you'll tell me. I, I believe that you told him that because obviously, you know, it's, it's alive. <laughs> so it's, I don't, I don't think any of us question that we could clearly see there was a, it was a portion toward the end that you were getting pretty panicked, and he wanted you the hell out of that room. Yeah, and I told him I'm not fucking going anywhere. I know, <laughs> bullshit. Right. You know, I mean. Even when Sullivan was telling you, "All right, let's go, let's go," you were like, "No, mm-hmm. not going anywhere." Yeah, because I mean, you're yeah. the only one that can lead me to my exactly. child. Exactly. You know, everyone keeps telling me you shouldn't want to talk to him. That was the last person that seen my kid, and I don't give a fuck how painful it, it is for him, or how bad he doesn't want to look at me or whatever. No, you. If you know where my kid is, you need you, you know where my kid is. You need to just fucking tell me. Right. Tell somebody that can go and get my kid. Take them to get. I don't care. I just I don't care what I you what, what, what happened. You wanted to do it was proper by your boy. Yes, you know I mean that's only fair for him. I agree with you. And and, and if he can give me that. I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't. 
Because he's a coward. Well, like he's, he's not going to spend life in prison any fucking way. What does it matter? You know, you, you see what I'm saying? What have you got to lose? You can, you're in the worst position you could possibly be in any fucking way. You're not getting out. Period. So why wouldn't you tell me? I wish I had that answer. Uh, your mama asked me something today. Why would someone do something like this? What would reason? Do you? Can anybody come up with a logical reason? I can't. Can baby. anybody come up with a logical reason that this right here happened? That we had to cut the carpet out and take your baby. That's his blood. That is your baby's blood. I swear before those... I believe you. Those people I'm going to be swearing in front of. So why would he... Why would he tell anyone where he is? Because he's a coward. He's what the fuck is he scared of? He's only thinking about one saying this himself. Yeah. Okay, and if he don't tell, he's still going to get charged with murder, right? He, he's, he's not thinking that way. Because he thinks he's smarter than everybody. He thinks he's smarter than everybody, and he's just going to wait this out. And, and it's just going to all go what? away? And let me hate. It's not going to go away. Let, let me clue you in a little more. Let me put it to you like this. We got, and we've got Reuben. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are the two people that had care of the child. Mm -hmm. Okay. When push comes to shove, because it's gonna, mm -hmm. push is gonna come to shove, the shit's gonna hit the floor, the wagon's gonna have the wheel fall off of it, and guess what he's gonna do? There's only, let's just face it, there's only two people we can blame for this incident right now, and it's you and him. The difference is, you, he, yeah, you that. did not lose the car with that bullshit story. Okay? Yeah, I damn sure didn't hurt my baby. Well, then that only means one thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And what kind of a coward, what kind of a fucking coward cannot just, you know what, call and get help. If you want to lie, lie and say he fell down the stairs again. Okay? Lie and say he pushed him again. Lie and say he fell in the bathtub. Anything. Just but don't throw him out. No shit. Like no. a piece of garbage that the buzzards eat, the dogs pull apart, the bugs get on. Is that how you want your child to be remembered in your mind? It ain't how I want to remember him. Because the way I want to remember him, he looks like that. And you know what? When we put this out, do you think that baby was alive? Think about it a minute, Lana. Think. We put an Amber Alert out for a child because a man told us the car was missing yeah. and the baby was in it. Do you really think he was alive then? Not now. <laughs> not now, I don't. I, not now, I don't either. <laughs> this is why we were so... Why would he do that? Because he's, he's an animal. He's a coward <laughs> animal. He is not who represented himself to you. Your mama told me today the reason you <laughs> fell head over heels with him is because he took such good care of you. Really? You're living in a room, right? You're the one out working 2 a.m. And what is his trade? Drug dealer. You know that, and I know that. I know who he pays to go get his prescriptions. I know he gets some himself. No denying this. It's all over his phone. And, an and another thing really was... My kids took to him so why would you would do that to him. He don't care, honey. He cares about <laughs> no, one he And he asked for him again today, twice. You know, when can, where's Ruben? I want to see Ruben. And you know, that's... She doesn't one. know. Exactly. She doesn't know. She's she innocent. Doesn't know. Exactly. She's innocent. You know what I mean? That's do you know why she's not hurt today? Because she's got a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> there is no telling what's been going on. Looking at some of the messages that you and him have, I get the impression that he's very frustrated sometimes with, with, by one of the texts that said, my bad, I gave him fucking milk. Okay? Who does that? Who complains about, oh, these kids are driving me crazy today. I know there's been times you've called your mom, like, God, these kids are driving me crazy. Hey, I'll come get them. Don't worry. Do you say to your mom, you know what? I can't get them to potty train. I had to give, my bad, I gave him fucking milk. Yeah. Who does that about a kid they care about? He's a kid. Yeah. You drink? You pee. 
Yeah. He's a kid. Well, I, had, I know what you're talking. I know what text you're talking about. And he had had been um, he caught a stomach virus. Is that his fault? No, but that's what I'm saying. He was like Ruben was saying. He didn't need milk. Because it was souring on his stomach, causing him to throw up. Okay, Do you well, say stuff likes, like that? He likes milk. Do you say stuff like that? Who does that? Parents don't talk about their kids like that. You get frustrated with them. As they get older, you know, they create different problems for you. They're active. But have you ever said, I'm so fucking sick of you liking fucking milk? Have you ever said that? No. No. They're kids. He's a defenseless little guy. Underweight? <laughs> he must run around an awful lot because that boy didn't hold a lot of weight. And this man has done something to this child. And I can't impress upon you enough that if there is something else, I do, I'm do. i going to tell you right now, I don't think you know where this baby is. I don't. I don't. I don't. But if Reuben has said things to you that night, we've went over this about 12 times, and this mm -hmm. is going to be the last 13th, because this gets real from he here on out. He did not tell me anything that happened or anything that No happened. actions that he did, whether it be by on purpose or anything else. Mm -mm. Because most of the time when you have these cases, people do what I said. They have hurt a child, and it's usually never the biological pa family. It's the boyfriend's. Mm -hmm. They hurt the child, and they come up with the stupidest crap. <coughs> I was holding the baby, and I had to go get a bottle, and I tripped over the cord, and I fell. Me that much. You remember that one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I remember tripped over well. the cord, I fell into the wall, and it's And the baby flew. The, yeah. Was, and the baby flew across. I, I had to jump the whole water bed, and the baby flew across the room, and he hit the wall. This is not the first time that we've so worked a child's like death. Like Olympic gold medal that's exactly what I said. Bed. And right, then somehow he fell into the bathroom. He's using you to build this defense that he's great with kids, that right. kids love him and he loves children. I, I, no, I can't say. I've never seen him hurt my kids. I didn't see I've never seen him Obviously you kids. didn't see him. No. Yeah. Do you think he'd tell you? No. I just beat the brakes off it today. Yeah. Yeah. I think exactly. he's going to say I beat him so hard that behind his ears, ball bruised up, and the side of his face is swollen. Right. Do you think he's going to do that? Hey, my bad. I fucking milk again. <laughs> yeah. Really? You know, it's not going to happen. Yeah, of course, way. he's going to lie to me because I wouldn't refer to Yeah. Him. Right. And then he's exactly. Gonna, then he's yeah. going to try to pull the ultimate lie. Someone stole the car and he was in the car. Yeah, obviously that's a fucking lie. So yeah. now what do we do? Now what do we do is we continue to build this case. Okay. Okay. There's other things that we have to do um, with some additional evidence. The I can tell you there is no one between the sheriff's office and the state attorney's office that this isn't the priority number one. Okay. This is my priority too. Okay. It yeah. has been all along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have worked tirelessly and we will continue to. And it's like I told your mama today. I am here for one human and one human only. Oh I, yeah, I, I can't even, s I have such bad nightmares because I just, I just sit there and wonder, you know, where he is or what's, <laughs> what happened to him and I can't sleep without seeing his little face. There's, um, and, I, and I'll, I'll let you explain this a little better with your medical background. Explain the basal fracture. A basal skull fracture. You hit someone like a child hard enough in the head that what it does, it can leave like a hairline fracture. It's not something that you can see. Okay, that's what he's If you look at him, he looks okay. But he's not acting quite right. He becomes tired, lethargic, Asleep. which means that he's sleepy. He's sleepy. Okay, like he's groggy he acting. Kind of he's and have he's you ever tired? He's irritable. He doesn't eat right. So that's why he was acting like that. You're a genius. And what's the reason that that bruise? Well, I mean, I figured that it was just because you know. I'm messing with you, kind of lighten it up. The reason that bruise appears is because there's bleeding inside the head. So he about and here's where the skull ends and has an opening. So the blood is trying to escape. And then what happens so where does that if it where goes does this blood come from? If it goes untreated, it can the fluid can start coming out of the ear, which is a cerebral spinal fluid. That fluid kind of filters the brain. It's like a cushion and it goes down your spinal column. If an opening occurs where this fluid starts to come out, 
not only does it come out, but bacteria goes in. Okay. When a bacteria goes into that, that fluid, they develop meningitis. They start getting fevers, and if it's untreated, they die. So how did all that happen? That's, just like that? that's one of the <laughs> things that could have happened. So that's just what you But it can also, it can also remember that lethargic, that grogginess, the irritability. The vomiting. They are hard to deal with because you don't, you can't sue them. No matter what you do, you can't make them feel better. So you become irritable. So you're you lose think, your patience again. So y'all thinking and that he he and just and probably it couldn't it handle his whining or whatever, and he and, 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 he, and, he, and, he, and he hurt him. Yeah. And he hurt him because and Lost the majority hurt him the majority of cases times, where right? a young child is killed by and I just a woman's boyfriend what going on. because the boyfriend has no real attachment to that child. No. No. And it's easier to lose your temper when it's not your child. Listen, if I could tell you. Like what he says to you and what he says that he's only telling y'all what y'all want to hear. You know what I mean? Not to hurt your feelings. Dude, you it's can't hurt my feelings no worse than what they already are. I, I want you to understand. All he's all he's doing is trying to manipulate well, you. Well, fuck him. That's I mean, what you need to be. This is all about him. manipulation and control. Yeah. Well, he obviously is this dark. this that you yeah. saw on his his head. Remember how I was so emphatic with you, and you got to understand. Knowing, knowing what I know and seeing what I see all these times, you see a kid's head bonged up like this and his cheek is red and he's got fluid, yellowish fluid coming out of his ear. That is a classic sign of, oh shit, you have a serious head injury. Well, see, and I it's what he's know that. Yeah. I've never had one of my kids no. have a head injury or anything. And right. see, you did that day. Violence toward children can quickly escalate. You know? Obviously. Yeah. Listen, we go back to the same thing. It's you or him, and it's him that came up with this elaborate plan to try to say that, and any time you confront him with something, well, I'm telling you, we saw you walk back. Yeah, yeah, I walked back, but you didn't see me run through the wood line. No, bitch, we didn't see you run through the wood line because your ass didn't walk through the wood line. Right, you drove that car out. Yeah. No. Yeah. He, he spent time trying to figure out how to cover his tracks up to the point of staging this abduction of which was already gone. So at what point of the night when I was gone did he do something with it? Well, well then, the and time frame's narrowing down. And just think about it a second. This starts a head injury. Mm -hmm. Brittany points that out to you that morning. Yeah. Well, do you, yeah. And, and you don't... I'm going to assume that since you only see it Thursday that it's possibly not there Wednesday. But yeah. if this is the first time you're seeing it, if you gave him a bath the day before, do you yeah, remember seeing no, it? it wasn't there. Okay. So then we can, when I say, that's what he means. When we can talk about timelines, if you gave him a bath Wednesday or you gave him a bath Thursday morning or whatever the time frame is and it wasn't there, then we know sometime around when Brittany was there, between there and the last time you saw him where it wasn't there, that's when that happened. Right. Now, could there be and another it injury? To, it had to have been before I got up. I agree with you. I jump in before I got out. And, and here, you know, there was so much talk about, you know, whether you do or don't do laundry at 3 in the morning. Look, I get you do laundry at 3 in the morning. That's when you get off. Yeah. I do laundry, well, shit, I ain't got off before, I don't know when, but normally I would do laundry on my day off. And that's just how I do it. Sometimes I'll throw a load in at 6 o'clock when I'm home. Mm. You don't get home until 2. So I get it. But when asked, is it normal for him to go to the laundromat at 1.45 in the morning? Not alone. But alone, before, why would you drive out? It, it, none of his timeline makes any sense. Right. For example, I know I gotta go get you at two o'clock. I don't have any gas in the car, okay? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna go at 12 o'clock and get gas and then come back in. What, two kids? Who wakes two kids up to go get gas at one time, but you don't have to be anywhere for two hours, right. and it's friggin' midnight? Who does that? No one. No one does that. Except Ruben. He left at 12 that night, too? 12.33. He was at the kangaroo. Did he normally do that? When you were at work? What? Drag the kids around town? Mm -mm. No. He normally stay at the house with them. Right. 
until I got off. That would be the only time he'd bring them out. Was Ruben hung around the club a lot, didn't he? Mm -hmm. when, when, when I mean, when I didn't have, if I was at home and I had the kids, then he would go. We never went at the same time unless my mom had the kids. Okay. He wouldn't have no one to keep the kids. Yeah. Unless I had to be the yeah, kids. Yeah, right, right. Is there, is there any places down on the south side by the avenues, the avenues mall, 95 Phillips Highway, is there any places that you know that he would hang out? Like some people go hang out at the pool hall on on you know the one at Bay Meadows by the um, Winn Dixie. Some people hang out. There's a place called they call the Pits down McLaurin Road. I've never heard of that place. Um, um, where West Bay Poker Room? I don't know where. That? I don't know exactly Regency. where that is. Regency. I don't know. Exactly. I've never been there with yeah, it. Is that the one on Monument, the one that used to be Garden Ridge? That's Regency. Okay, well yeah. I've never been there. There's with another it. one. There's a one. There's one in Orange Park. No, he would go. I'm, I'm he'd go the one at I'm assuming that he'd go to the one closest to our house. Okay. okay. So, okay, but bad. anything down by the avenues, Phillips Highway. Latitude 30. You ever go there? Latitude, I've never been there. Okay. I've never been there, and I know he did pool tournaments at Bear Assets, but that's yeah. That's Do you way out north. yeah? Do you know the girl that he? Her name is Christy. You get pills from the pro the pro uh, the pregnant, pregnant girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't like her. Yeah. Um, I didn't really take to her too. Well. I only met her a handful of times. Where did you? Was it with Ruben? Mm -hmm. Was it with you? Uh huh. Had to be. I guess you were both together. Yeah. Um, he, um, I would make him. They they had to get out the car to do whatever they were doing because I don't do pills. Okay. I don't take them. I don't, and I don't like to be mixed up in that. Okay. So they was he buying from her or selling to her? He um he would give her money. Right. She would go somewhere. And then he, whenever she would get back, he would get out the car and get in with her, and I guess do whatever they were doing. Right, and then get in your car. Okay. Because <coughs> um, I, mean, I really refused for him to do. Where did you? Where did y'all commonly meet her at? What location? Um, I was trying to explain that. Um, it's like I know you, when you um, when you come out of mm -hmm. you go straight or you go take a right or left. You get, come you out. Take a right. Okay. And you go straight through that light. Uh huh. And you take that road all the way down. Okay. So like wherever that leads to. I'm not really good with area names and stuff. Do you drive? Do I drive? Not very often. Not in Jacksonville. I've only lived there <laughs> since May. You you're good on dirt roads? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean it's just I and I actually got yelled at that about that a lot. You have to pay attention where we're going. You you right. need, you know you need, you have no sense of dirt. Well, I'm not from Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but I know that we would meet. Um, We'd always uh, pass a play. It'd be either at a gas station, or um, it's, you can turn turn in. It's got like a um, a Panda Express. And it's so it's a, um, so it's like places where you common places like out in the open. Mm -hmm. You weren't going to her house. No, never went to her house. Uh, one time, and that was just to drop her off though. Okay. Why did you like her? She was just a bitch. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> So how do you feel about her? <laughs> yeah, I feel about her. She's like, I think that she's a bitch. I bet. I bet if you asked her how she felt about it, you'd get the same. Well, you might get a worse word. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You might get a worse word. Probably. Yeah. You alright? Other stuff is going on. Allegations. But yeah, and I honestly. Um, Did you I know about say, it? I can say that it was bullshit because I was right there when she went into the uh, bathroom to do a bump of coke, and I. Doubt he's gonna rape you in front of me. She left that part out that I was there too. Yeah, I was wondering how that went. Yeah, I was wondering how that went if you were in the house and she's getting banged. He didn't rape right her. Right. He didn't rape her. She got mad because he admits that he had sex with her. Well, that he did. Okay, well that must have been after I left or no. something. He, no, he he, said he, he came over here to our building while I was in the house. Yeah, I I didn't hear all of it, but I can I believe him. But I'll, I, I believe you. But I guarantee it was just the first of July. Out. July first. I, I remember the date, right? July first. Mm -hmm. July first. Something about you know they had wackos and they met and then they and came then she back. Came back to the house right. as kids. I was getting ready. And you went off. No, she left her kids there. Right. Yeah. She said she was coming back to. Uh, and she did. Uh -huh. She did. And when she came back, that's when she claims it happens. He admits it. This okay. is July 1st. Okay. He admits it and mm -hmm. says, but it was consensual. Okay. I'm not I'm trying to, like you said, what else could you possibly absorb? <laughs> you know, yeah. it is what it is. But yeah, he, he admitted. I really don't think that he raped her, though. I mean, how y'all were together for 12 years and you have three kids together. I don't <laughs> think that he raped you. You know what I mean? I think that you 
could talk to him and then you got <laughs> yeah, right. he wouldn't leave me for you. Right. That's probably... I don't say that I blame you on that one. I mean, that's just logical consumption. Yeah, I mean, if he forced her, then I don't You mean a, a, a consumption mm -hmm. or an assumption? An assumption. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying if I was with someone for 12 years and had three kids with them, obviously I'd like to sleep with them. Right. But when I got knocked up three times by them. Right. And done with them for over a decade. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. That's just logical. Well, yeah, there, was, the there was definitely tension with y'all. With me and her? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, there was. Yeah. Why was it so hard for you to believe that he did this? Because I just never seen him be harmful towards my kids. I mean, like, towards, you know, maybe argue with me a little bit, but not, I've never seen him, and I've had people come and pay him for them to keep his, you know, other people's kids. I mean, You know I the old saying, if, if not you, then who? If it wasn't you, then who? You know? In the story about the car being taken. I mean, he's just said he was so good with his own, and my kids liked him. You know, I mean, he still asks for him, you know? She, I like him very, very much. Do, do, you, mean, do you know his past? Do you know his past with adults, the the, the violence that he I has? I mean, I, knew, I know about one incident with mm -hmm. and uh, which I didn't really know full detail on it. Or whose story belongs to who, right? Yeah. 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 Um, How about her sister? Um, I never met her sister. Uh, never really... No, I really didn't get into that situation too much, really. So no, not a whole lot. Um, I knew that he had gotten, uh, that he had went to prison for two years, but I didn't really know the detail on it. Just uh, as far as I had known that it was uh, for robbing someone and running from the law or something like that. Do you know what his brother's in prison for? Mm -mm. No, I don't. No, I've never met him, so. Yeah. I've never met any of his siblings. Well, no one now what you've seen. If I'd have known this all, you guys would have never got a chance to talk to him because I'd have already fucking killed him myself. That's what exactly what I was waiting on from you. Honestly. All, when when y'all were in the room together? We if, put I, if I if I'd have known all this and I even sensed him hurting my kid, if I'd have known anything about it prior to him making their, that adoption fucking star cult, the stolen car bullshit, mm -hmm. if I'd have seen him hurt my kid or had knowledge him hurt my kid, y'all wouldn't have got a chance to get to him. Y'all would have me up for murder. Why, why else? Because I'd have fucking killed him. Why else would we have all this the blood? Because obviously he did something to my kid. Just a baby's child and blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, he stages this whole... Because he's trying to cover his own ass. Yeah. And that's... Um, this is a timeline from 3 o'clock in the that's afternoon. That's obviously not going to fucking work. Till 3 o'clock when we got you. When we got you guys. Mm -hmm. This is too much work has been done. You recognize that? Yeah, that's Raven. Yeah. At an ATM. Right. Getting out money out of your account. That's his account. Well, I, I thought, you know, I was considering it. We don't share. It, we okay. don't share accounts. I was considering it, you know, community property. Doesn't look like my kid is in there, though. Yeah, don't, does it? Well, mm -hmm. shocking. Well, this is the first time I've known about this. I mean, they told me that he pulled money out, but they didn't tell me that my kid wasn't in the car, so I didn't know that. We tracked him everywhere he went. This is where he went to McDonald's. I know it's hard. Have you talked to him? I have. What'd she tell you? She told me two different things. What'd she tell you? What'd she tell you? Um, she told me, one time she told me that um, he was in the car when they went to the laundromat. Because I asked her, you know, because was, that was what I was trying to put together was yeah. from the laundromat to home. Right. You know what I mean? Was he in the car from there to there? And um, she had told me, yes, he was in the la he was in the car sleeping at the laundromat. And then um, she first go around she told me that he was in the car at the apartment and then mm, probably about a week later you know I kind of slipped that question in there again you know well what happened you know where'd you all where did Ruben go you know I was trying to get trying to get her to tell me if um anyone else had seen if, if she had seen anyone else you right. know what I mean I'd say, because I didn't think he was good enough to pull something off by itself Right. You know what I mean? Right. And um, she, then she told me, well, he wasn't in the car. I don't remember seeing him. So I was just like, maybe she's, you know what I mean? Maybe this is just too much for her. She can't, you know? So I just really didn't go by much on what said for the most part. Well, it's not the first time that she said he wasn't in the car. Right. But I'm saying, like, I don't just sit around all day and ask her questions. You no. know, you, you yeah. know what I mean? We try and keep it off of her as much as possible. We try not to bring it up around her. 
but those were the two, you know, the two times that I had asked her. Did she say why she was scared that night? When well, I guess why did she come? Why did she leave the car? Did, did she mention anything of that? She said it because it was dark. She said she was scared of the dark, and Ruben was taking too long. <laughs> That's what she told me. Is there any questions that you have for us right now? Yeah, how can we bury this motherfucker? <laughs> I'm serious. If you ask any, have to do to put him away for good. I mean, that's if you asked any of us, we would have already got a shovel. But it doesn't work. Well, like that I way. said, if I'd have known any of it, just any of it, and any kind of knowledge of him hurt my kid, you gotta realize that this, opportunity. this stuff takes time. This this didn't just happen no, I'm saying, the I'm very saying, first day. No, I'm saying like literally, if I had ever seen him hurt my kid before, or even it felt like he was gonna hurt my kid or anything like that, I'd either left him before he got that chance. Or Your biggest